Hello, my name is Blake. Welcome to In The Hyperloop. Today we're gonna to look at a new video from Hart Hyperloop, which is a Dutch company that's building the Hyperloop. So let's go at it. And this is called, What is Hyperloop? You've probably heard of Hyperloop, but what is it exactly? Hyperloop is the new mode of transportation for large volumes of passengers like and cargo. Vehicles move through tubes, which create the ideal conditions for low energy travel and protect the vehicles from the environment. Just like a highway, vehicles join and exit the high-speed network at any point along the route. Direct trips are made possible without transfers or intermediate stops. Cool the Hyperloop network connects cities, countries, and even continents in short Whoa, periods of time. Go east. We bring you safe, smart, and sustainable transportation. No boundaries, no limitations. Welcome to Heart Hyperloop. It's really cool. Um, let me just see it again. Um, first impressions is that it's really clean. I'm glad they released an animation. Uh, I think we get caught up a lot in the video graphics, and so it's nice to see kind of um, just a very simple children's sketch of what a Hyperloop is. I noticed that there's a Hi Heart Hyperloop building. This is a station that looks pretty similar to like a regular train station you don't see through, but it's multimodal. You see a regular train, you see cars, accessible, handicapped by don't see a cycling path, but I'm sure it's there because this is the Netherlands. So if we kind of fast forward, um, really interesting to see um, this heart Hyperloop pod, which I don't think um, we've seen a full scale mock-up yet. It's hanging from the ceiling kind of on a guide way. And that's kind of different from other teams. Um, we do see cargo in the back. We see maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 or so people in the uh, cabin. And as we fast forward, we see a lot of solar panels on top of the uh, roof of the tube, which is good because this is a sustainable transportation um, that we were told by Elon Musk and then we see, you know, it's protected by very different weather conditions. Um, as I fast forward some more, um, you know, we see gentle curves, um, still kind of have to figure out the engineering part of just how gentle those curves are. But this is a really fascinating map. Um, it's putting Heart Hyperloop thinking uh, Europe wide for a Hyperloop network. We see many different stations and, and you know, city centers um, really flushed out. Again, um, there was a phased approach of a Hyperloop study in the Netherlands. This is a couple of years ago. Uh, and they first wanted to link up the airports um, as that made the most sense to create one massive airport. And a lot of trade going in and out of the different ports in the Netherlands. So if you link the airports and the ports together, that just makes an incredible uh, connection. But as we scroll out, um, we see it all Europe-wide and even stretching into Turkey and the east and uh, across the ocean um, to the UK. And again, across the Irish, Irish Sea to Ireland. That's really fun and fascinating to see. Um, and that's about it. Um, I'm really glad to see this new video um, released and we see it's very human centered. Um, I would not say cartoon, I would say almost just simple animation. Um, but then again, it's really nice to see a Hyperloop company kind of get back to square one and kind of release a very basic video on what is Hyperloop. Um, so good job, Heart Hyperloop. Looking forward to future videos. So stay in the loop for more videos, and we'll be doing more reaction videos to uh, what's happened recently with the SpaceX pod competition. So look forward, stay tuned, and subscribe.